good morning am i audible to all of you yes sir i can hear you right thank you so we'll just wait for a couple of more minutes and then we'll begin maybe one more candidate is joining sure okay. yeah I think one lady came and then logged out. So those who have joined, uh, Mr. Tarinma, you, can you introduce yourself in the meantime? Yes, we are not able to hear you. No, so sorry, I was just adjusting my computer. Right, right. Yes. I can, can hear you, sir, now. Yeah, can you switch on your camera also? Is it okay? Sure. Yeah, just for the introduction part. Sure, sure. Right, yeah. Yeah, so I'm Subarao, sir. You right. can call me Suba Subarao. Sure. I'm a FDP, uh, I'm a FPM student at IM Bhuvaneshwar. Sure. Right. Okay. Yes. And earlier I had worked for some years. Sure. Okay. So you are at an advanced stage of your FPM, right? Yes, sir. I have now the thesis to be submitted. Right. So I have, uh, we have had uh, three publications that have got accepted. Fourth right. one is, is getting vetted. Right. Right. So I have been using the mediation and moderation. But right. I thought I'll just sit through this so that it yeah. just reinforces. Right. Very good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So we have uh, Mr. Tarinmay or Dr. Tarinmay. I I don't know what is the designation. Can you just sh share with us? And Preeti, ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Right. Can you yeah. just introduce yourself? Yeah, so sir, I am a, a teaching faculty at Velinkar Institute, Mumbai. Right. And um, I have enrolled for PhD and therefore I am right. uh, I have registered for these sessions. Right. Um, in fact, sir, I had a request to make. There is an academic session today of mine. Okay. So okay. I have to actually leave. I have to take a lecture. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. And what has happened is... Huh. Um, I I was very interested and I have registered for many FDPs in advance and right, right. I was unable to make the adjustment uh, today. Understandable. Okay. So okay. Um, That's okay. I, huh. I spoke to uh, BIS sir also and right. I would uh, go through the recording sir. Right. And, That's fine. Uh, That's fine. If there is anything sir, is Any it doubt, okay? You, yeah, yeah. You? Please reach out to me later. No problem. No problem. Thank you sir. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. I will My be logged in but I may not right. be there. No problem. No problem. Thank That's you, okay. Thank That's you. okay. Understandable. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Tarinma, can you introduce yourself? There may be some mic issue. Okay. Uh, anyways, so let us proceed. So my name is Pratish Banerjee, and I am an assistant professor here at IMI Bhuvaneshwar. And um, I um, am mainly in the area of human resource management and organization behavior, uh, process macro, uh, and uh, you know these kind of applications, moderated mediation. I myself went to one uh, FDP conducted by 
professor amit shankar from i am i am visa and then uh, i mean i am going to pass on that knowledge only whatever i got from there so those who know about these techniques already they can just reinforce their learning and otherwise uh, those who are new to this technique they can understand how it goes and personally i feel that if you are into conditional indirect effect testing then compared to spss amos uh, the process macro does a better job um, however amos is more popular so maybe that's the reason why lot of more people uh, pursue that direction pursue in that direction and they actually end up not testing conditional indirect effect because that's more of a path analysis which which happens simultaneous conditional indirect effect testing happens only through process macro as per my knowledge maybe some other software is there uh, so let's begin so i have a ppt to share and i have some data sets which i'll share also and um, uh, so how do i share so umakan sir can i share the data sets with you and you'll share with the participants is it possible now umakan sir is it possible or maybe i'll just share when the time comes okay one by one i'll share you know in your mail id so i have your mail id i'll share that so uh, sharing my screen now right so this is the ppt so this is the application of process macro so i am expecting that you are having spss with you and you are having process macro installed if not i'll just share how to install also it's not a big deal so we'll be discussing or touching base on that so we'll review the fundamentals of moderation and mediation a little bit although that's not the agenda uh right and uh, then we'll go ahead and give a brief overview of preacher and hayes's conditional indirect effect frameworks there are so many frameworks i'll touch base on only two right and we'll we'll have a overview of these two features moderated mediation and mediated moderation with examples also as well as the data sets i am sharing i'm going to share they will be helping us so the data sets are not from hr paradigm per se they are from any you know psychometric or uh, uh, you can call them uh, you know uh any anything that related with you know empirical research so such kind of you know cognitive models and all so we'll give a overview of process macro and then we'll do the hands on exercises we'll also look into this important factor called output interpretation and also reporting how to report them from research paper publication perspective so you know, we'll look at that i'll have some templates which have already been published and accepted at you know journal level and so Uh, i hope that those are also going to be useful for you uh, so we all know about moderating effect that's my assumption but it, uh, correct me if i'm wrong so there are some variables who have a regulatory effect on the overall cause effect relationship between two other variables in a simplistic manner so these types of variables are known as moderators for example the cause effect relationship between reward policy and job satisfaction this may be regulated by the perception of bias towards managers so if your perception is that the managers are too biased then regardless of whether the reward policy is fair or unfair you may not feel satisfied okay your perception of bias will continue to cloud your judgment right so something like that can always happen so they may be continuous like say organizational politics or bias towards manager or it can be anything other other than you know a categorical factor but there can be categorical moderating variables also we do not touch base on multi group moderation in this session but maybe in a future session i will touch base on that so for continuous moderator variables we can calculate moderating by creating interaction terms which is a cross product of the independent variable and the moderating variable and then by measuring the interaction effect okay so this can be done either by the mean centering approach or by creating z scores which is the more popular method i hope you are all aware about this if not just stop me and ask me for clarification because this is not something which is the main agenda our agenda is to discuss something more advanced that's why i am just just you know passing through this content however if you feel like that there is a need for some deliberation let me know or shall we do some exercise i mean there are very few participants it cannot be very interactive but still let's see uh, just a second so i have some exercises um umakan sir are you there can i share yes sir you can share yeah. sir i'll share with you can you share with the participants okay thank you so much yes sir yeah yeah the email id is also given if you if the matter is there uh, actually it will be difficult to find right now okay okay, okay. and can okay. i just forward okay. yeah i will do that yeah thank you i i will do that sir right right, right. thank you.
जस्ट अ सेकेंड i am also sharing one article which is the most fundamental of all but uh, and another article by mr professor amit shankar who published one article it's a very good template i believe that's a very good template so there's an article by muller which is basically the uh, kind of a bible for us if you are looking at what is moderate repetition what is mediated moderation yes umakanji i have shared can you just forward to the participants thank you so i'll come back to my screen so when you talk about moderating effect remember that we are basically into uh, we are understanding how much the moderating variable is influencing the the direct relationship right between the x and y variables so i have some examples a so work from home policy so i have some work from home policy perception okay so whatever policy the organization has so i have some perception regarding that whether it's fair whether it's whether it's not adequate and that affects my work life balance okay so i am not happy uh, in if my if my company does not have a very good work life Uh, work from home policy especially post pandemic that's something which can be a cause of concern for us so work from home policy needs to work like balance we know that there is a direct relationship between these two or we we are assuming that there is a direct relation between these two however this may be influenced by the gender of the employee because people from different gender may perceive the work from home policy differently so accordingly this relationship gets regulated by the factor gender here so something like this can be me measured and i mean this is something which Uh, also has been highlighted this kind of model has been highlighted by andrew hayes himself that this is the moderating model and the equation is something like this suppose your dependent variable is revenue independent variable is training expenditure so the relationship training expenditure to revenue may be moderated by the trainee's readiness regarding the training so you are expending money for your training so whether that will lead to revenue generation by the employees or not that may be regulated by whether the trainees are extremely ready for the training or not that much whether they are experts or novice depends on that the expenditure will lead to revenue or not so the moderating variable is the trainee readiness so equation will look something like this so you'll see that this is the interaction term which will help i mean if your direct effect is uh, is significant and after that you will see that when you introduce the introduction term if the direct effect becomes insignificant and this becomes significant then we say there is a complete moderation otherwise if both continue to remain significant we say there is a partial moderation because that means there is a partial effect of the particular moderating variable if you talk about mediating effect on the other hand we basically look at the impact of an iv on a dv how much i mean the iv on the uh, it has an impact on the dv may also be explained by a third variable so there may be another uh, uh, one uh, intermediate variable which can explain this this uh, effect more more care uh, more uh, you know completely so the logic here is that a leads to b b leads to c so such scenarios call for testing mediating effect of the model so psychological ownership okay may mediate the impact of flexible work perceptions on the dependent variable intention to recommend the company's uh, whether the company should be inter, uh, you know rec recommended by the job seekers or not so if employees are expressing positive flex work arrangements then they feel more psychologically attached to their firm which may lead to spreading positive word of mouth so these are part of some of my own you know research ideas which i am developing as papers so i'm sharing from there so mediating mediation is can be done either by the baron and kenny method which is currently not that much in favor the more uh, uh, you know more accepted method is the preacher and hayes bootstrapping technique which is done through the process macro so you are having y is equal to you know x basically the first linear equation 
then the mediating effect whether the mediating mediating variable is getting affected by the independent variable or not lastly in the presence of the mediating variable whether the independent variable continues to remain effective or not so again the model looks something like this so x on y can be explained to the variable m or not so x leads to y this is our first assumption x leads to m the second assumption x leads to y or not continue continues to do that or not in the presence of mi or not so this is the last assumption so if x does not predict y in the presence of mi okay if uh, in that sense so in the mi is the main mediator here that means the mi is the major factor due to which x is leading to y so something like that leads to complete mediation otherwise if they continue to remain significant so that means the c dash path and the c path both remain significant then we have a partial mediation so here suppose celebrity endorsement leads to intention to purchase this may be mediated by brand loyalty so we are expecting celebrity endorsement explains intention to purchase in a in its own right but that may not be the case first it leads to brand loyalty then only it leads to intention to purchase so the direct path remains insignificant in case it is a complete moderation mediation okay otherwise if it, if this path also remains significant we say it is a mediation happening in a partial manner again something like this can be measured with process so there are some data sets with us so maybe we can practice a bit if you are interested so you can open the moderation data set there is a moderation data set you can open that you can open spss directly open the data also just closing it because this is a spss file only you can directly open it so we have got basically four variables here intention attitude opb and osb so our first job will be to create the the mean values or the uh, here suppose we are creating four variables right so we can go to uh, analyze and you can create our descriptive stats so we'll start with intention right thank you so much i hope all of you have the file with you we just got it sir got got it okay okay just got it right so there are basically if you open the moderation file there are basically four variables i'll just retrace my step because you have just got it wait for you people then we'll do it. so if you open this moderation variable so you will see that there are four variables basically intention which has three items okay intention 1 2 3 attitude 1 2 3 opb 1 and opb opb 1 2 3 this is opb and osb i am not elaborating on what these variables are that's not our objective so best let us consider there are four variables intention attitude opb and osb so our model looks something like this opb and osb are are, are our ivs attitude is the uh, the moderating variable and intention is the outcome right so this is how the model looks like and we can test this so we can probably first of all uh, we'll compute some variables so we we'll compute the means so we have our target variable is intention okay let's call it int so we'll compute our variables here
you basically have a so we have now intention as our main variable okay so we continue like this go to transform go to compute variable i mean this is a simple exercise so i don't think it is a big issue you can do it then you have got attitude so we have got attitude one So you've got attitude also. Let's go with OPB. I hope it is understandable what am I are discussing. So this is not the main agenda. We are just building base here. Very soon we'll move on to conditional indirect effect, indirect effect. The last one. So here we are assuming that already factor structure has been checked. Okay. And we are having a clean factor structure. So that is the assumption that you're going with. So you may have already gone through some, you know, uh, content on structural equation modeling and psychometric testing. So that part has already been covered. Then only this part is happening, right? So we have the model OSB plus, uh, and OPB. These are your independent variables. Attitude is the moderating variable and intention is the final outcome. Hopefully the model is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Right. So, so do one thing, go to descriptives, go to um, descriptive analyze, descriptive statistics, and then descriptives. And here we'll take, see, we have got basically this, this one is our uh, uh, moderating variable. Okay. So let's take the Z scores. Leave out intention. These three, we need to convert them as standardized values. If you're going by the standardizing of the regression coefficients, right? And we'll also have created two cross products, Z OSB multiplied by Z ATT and Z OPB multiplied by Z ATT. So you're going to go with that also. So let's call it mod var one and mod var two. So mod var one is essentially Z OPB, this one multiplied by This one, this is our first moderating variable. Okay, mod var one has been created. And then we create mod var two. We have got ZOSB, multiple ZADT. Now our model is ready for conducting moderation analysis. So we usually use hierarchical linear regression. So we have our independent variables. So test them first with respect to your dependent variable. Okay. Yeah, click on this. Rest are not that much of a problem. No standardized values and standard error. We go with this. There are several other options which you can obviously take up, but let's not get there for the time being. So this is our first uh, model. That means this is the main model. So if you look at the model summary, 
can see r square 0.341 and you can also see that here both these you know independent variables are significant so our first condition may there is a direct effect definitely there is a direct effect however whether there is a moderation effect moderating effect or not we'll check with that we we'll just now we'll add You can see R square has increased, but now you can see OPB has become insignificant. So in the presence of the moderator, this becomes insignificant. So that also is an indication. However, to be double sure, we'll go with the stepwise this thing now. This time we'll add the mod bars only. So now we have the, the breakup. So at two stage, the model has been now run at two stage. Overall significance is there. If you see marginal increase after including the moderators, so maybe there is no moderation effect. Yeah, so there is mod var two is significant, mod var one is not. And now you can see that after the moderators were in included, mod moderating variables were included as such, the cross, cross products, then the direct effect is also there. So there is a partial moderation done by the mod var two, right? So something like this is possible when you are doing a simple moderation effects testing, and it can be done with multiple moderators also, multiple independent variables also, simultaneously only, you can do that. And this can be tested in, in MOS also. Right, so you can do the same thing in AMOS and you'll get the same result. So it's not going to be difficult here. Any doubts in this? Is there any doubt in this? Hopefully not. You we'll just you can save this as a you know a future reference. So we also have mediation. There is one data set for mediation. So let's keep that open. So once again, you will see that there are basically four variables. So AQ1, VOL1, VOL, AQ, T, and, and GB. So here T is the, the is basically the um, uh, trust. So here trust is the final outcome and AQ, A is affective quality and all those variables are there. So let's not get into the definitions of these variables. Again, four variables are there. Um, there are two independent variables, one mediator and one outcome variable. So again, we can do some mediation analysis here. And uh, since uh, we can use uh, process macro in this also, so we'll just hold on to this for some time. Let me just discuss mediation a little bit, then we'll come back to this. So there, uh, I mean, this is understandable, hopefully. The issues that we have is basically, if you have a large sample size, still there are situations when Baron and Kenny guidelines are followed and we have Sobel's test, right, to conduct, to check whether partial or, or complete mediation is happening. However, the preacher and his method of bootstrapping is now more popular and that's something which we can use, right? So we have the mediation model. I mean, if you see this model, this is the model that they follow model four, right? So this model is used for that. And if you are into moderation checking, then as I have shown earlier, so you'll see that model one, most probably, yeah, that's a model one is used. So these models are nothing but Preacher and his have given multiple models for uh, for uh, you know the configurations that you have to make inside the process macro. So if you never use process macro, you have to follow that kind of a particular role. And um, and in case you are planning on doing it using the process that I mentioned, so then uh, the process macro method. Then what you have to do first of all, you have to install process macro. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, if you have any doubt regarding in, in installing process macro, let me know now because I have installed it. If there is an installation related question, please ask me now because I have installed it. 
I hope you have installed it. In case not, then I'll show you the installation process. Otherwise, I'll skip this. The the uh, SPSS versions that we have, sir, uh, right out here, uh, huh. that is not allowing us to install. So you are having to... twenty or not? Do you have? Are, are you having twenty? Yeah, but I think it is a cracked version which has okay. been because I am remote. Right. So there is some issue in terms of being able to install the macro. Which version yes. of macro are you installing? Three point five or what? Uh, I don't remember. I tried that earlier. I can just followed just, all the guidelines. Can you just check the the version name? Like here, it's mentioned three point five. Just right? one second, sir. Just I'll check that one. Yeah. I should be there. Sometimes my... three point one works. Three point one version is there. I have that version. I can share with you. You can try it once. Okay. Uh, what about the other participant, Mr. Tarima? Is it okay? Have you installed it? Can you just use the chat box at least? Maybe he has just logged in and not there. Just let me know if you have not installed it. Okay, let me just show the process once. It's okay. I'll Can show. I say something, sir? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sir, actually, Mr. Subbarao, the problem is that uh, I I think I am not uh -huh. sure. No, no. Problem yeah, is uh, the compatibility of process macro is with certain kind of SPSS version. Right. So right, right now, I think we have process four point one. Okay, four point one. Installed uh -huh. right uh -huh. from that, uh, and uh, compatible with that, you have to have a higher version of. Uh, right. SPSS. Right. So if you are not having so. the higher version, in that case, I have three point one, which is a lower version. Maybe yes. that can work. But now, sir, what happens is if you go to install process, it uh -huh. will give you four point one only. I right. think. I I know I know. If you are so going you cannot, to that, you cannot sort of load the lower version. No no. Uh, I have loaded three point five. No, that right. must be done before. No, uh, not uh, now. No now only. Now only I have done. Okay, with the office laptop only I have done. Okay. So it has installed three point five. I think I think I have a higher version. Right. And Mr. Subbaro, what you yes. can do is you can talk to um, uh, ah. Mr. Uh, uh, Amrish. He is our IT specialist. Right, so right. Maybe he can help you load a higher version of SPSS. Okay, ma'am. You said Mr. Amrish, right? Mr. Amrish, I'll send you yeah. his number. Oh, yes. So, by the way, uh, Professor Pratyush, Mr. Yeah. Subbaro is my research scholar. I understand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. So, so I am also sharing the lower version macros. Whichever works out, please work with ha, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Subaru, you were trying to load which version of macros? I don't remember, ma'am. So, but okay. I have to retrace the whole thing. This was uh, whatever is the one which is on that website. Uh, yeah. So it website. is. Sir, I don't know. The website always shows the current version. Current version. Right. Not right. load the. I mean, lower version. Ha, ha. Right. That right. is the problem. Right. That may be the problem. So mm -hmm. I have shared process three point one with uh, Umakan sir. He is sharing with you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So and also three point five, the one which I am using, and space is twenty six. I am using three point five. Mm -hmm. I mean they are almost similar, so it will not hamper our process. So try at your end. I mean this is for sure. the other participants also. Um, it's. The SPSS that I have installed on my system is twenty. Twenty, right? So maybe three point right. one or three point five will work with you, because okay. I have earlier worked with uh, SPSS twenty, and uh, both these uh, versions have worked in my system. So hopefully it will work at your end or in other people also. If they are having SPSS twenty, it is working in SPSS twenty six also. I am currently using SPSS twenty six in my office laptop. It is okay. three point five. I have installed. It is working. Three point five okay. is working. So hopefully this issue will also be there, not be there. Um, so from functionality, it is all same, right? All same, all same. There is a little bit of difference, very little okay. difference. So it's okay. not that much of an issue. Okay. Output and everything, all same, all are same. Okay. So last point which I'll touch base but not cover here is called multi-group moderation model, and uh, this is something which I have actually done in my thesis. And uh, what we did, we have three moderating variables. You see, all of these are categorical. All three are categorical. This is something which I have done with Amos, and there is a very good way of doing this analysis. And I got this um, analysis published in a ABDC A journal. 
a category journal and uh, you know something which maybe in a future program i'll try, try to touch this one because i need emos i don't have emos here so i need to share you know how to do this in emos so maybe for our future uh, you know program i'll touch this on this for the time being we are we are, we are focusing only on conditional indirect effect moderated mediation which is observed with the mediating process that is responsible for producing the effect of the predict on the outcome depends on the value or level of a moderator variable something like this so you have got service qual customer satisfaction and customer value leading to crm quality which will lead to customer loyalty but the the influence of the independent variables on the mediator is getting moderated by brand image which may be low or high so here we have a categorical brand image a categorical moderator or it can be mediated moderation where if the moderator effect is applied to an indirect path from the iv to the dv so this indirect path its strength depends on the moderator therefore the strength and the overall effect depends on the moderator something like this so high performance work system leading to knowledge exchange and combination which will lead to workforce productivity but the knowledge exchange and combination to workforce productivity this mediation depends on knowledge management effectiveness process or the policies that is there in place so uh, both ways there have been a uh, lot of argument i mean what is moderated mediation what is mediated moderation uh, simplistically speaking which i understand is that the moment when you have the x to m path getting moderated by the w then it is moderated mediation if the m to uh, the dv path gets moderated by w then it is mediated moderation so as simple as that so and even in uh, uh, preacher and his model you will see that they are following these two models so i think model 7 and model 14 which essentially tell us about that however there are more complex models where there are there is a moderation at both the ends so that model is also there moderated moderation effects are there so we can go beyond you know what is the simplistic model i am giving a small example of moderated mediation framework again something which came as a research idea to me and which i have worked on and currently the paper is under review i am asking people perception regarding their flexible work arrangements this was done during the corona uh, pandemic uh, i mean flexible work arrangements came into more popularity during this time so we were asking if organizations were allowing them their employees the freedom to choose where to work from okay and this is about work from anywhere not just work from home right so we are asking do they feel that they are owning their organization do do they feel a psychological ownership with their organization or not in that case whether they are inten intending their intention to recommend that employer to other prospective job seekers whether that gets influenced or not in that process their marital status and gender is it moderating this relationship or not so theoretically sup the support that i have taken is work life balance theory and gender role ideology theory because obviously if we uh, ha have the the support of our organization regarding these troubled times we feel more happy our work life balance synergy is higher okay and there have been instances the some of the my respondents they had gone to bio bubbles they have went to you know destination uh, working and all those stuff and they were very happy about it and obviously the gender role ideology is there because there are family pressures family constants under which you are working right so here our hypothesis is that the mediating effect of psychological ownership on the relationship between flex work perception and intention to recommend this is getting moderated by the gender and marital status of the employees just to give an idea in case you are creating a paper on moderated mediation this is how you develop the hypothesis so i'm taken q from papers got published at reputed journals that's how they have framed their hypothesis makes sense also so something like this can be thought of another conceptual model taken from a published paper this is jebrekarti jebrekarti who is one of the you know most celebrated uh, scholars and um, proponents of moderated mediation analysis okay so his idea was that the creative choice counter conformity unpopular choice counter conformity two types of counter conformity and avoidance of similarity these are your independent variables whether they lead to social comparison or not leading to intention for luxury consumption or not so the the paper is very unique in the published in journal retailing and consumer services uniqueness do do you want to be unique okay or not the the need for uniqueness whether that leads to to purchase luxury items so there are a lot of control variables which are uh, at the back end but essentially materialism your your need for materialistic things whether that more you know moderates the social comparison versus iv link or not leading to the final intention for luxury consumption so again the model you will see the model which i have created for my paper and this one they are similar in 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 the way they have been uh, you know the architecture is similar so some, something like this needs to be created for your moderate mediation paper most papers which i have gone through they follow this kind of article 
However, there have been papers which are publishing their articles with title mediated moderation and they develop their, their models like this. So there is a confusion. There is there are celebrated papers, Journal of Business Research papers, which are saying the title is mediated moderation, but the paper has a framework which looks like a moderated mediation model. And they have given argument also why they have thought that this is mediated moderation. There are doubts, but I have gone through Muller's argument. There should not be any doubt. So, so I mean, this is what is moderate mediation. And uh, Professor Amit Shankar from IAM Pfizer, he also uh, contested that this is what moderate mediation model should look like. So process macro, this is what, which is developed for SPSS and SAS. Okay, and there are 90, I think now more than 90 complex interaction effects. Okay, and uh, version 3.5 and now MAM says there are there is 4.2. Okay, more advanced versions have come. Okay, so we are going to focus on this. Yeah, there's a chat. File share, thank you so much, Umakanji, thank you. So now I have shared the, the lesser versions of process with you, 3.5 and 3.1. So anybody who is trying out how to do this on by hand, because very soon we are having, going to have hands-on analysis. So you can try out, okay? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to focus on model seven and models, model 14 only. And you know there are obviously other models like sequential mediation, parallel mediation, moderated moderation and, and other stuff. Uh, but I mean, um, we are sticking to only these two. Maybe in a future program, if people are interested, then I'll go with it, right? So this is, if you are having SPSS 20, you go to utilities and go to custom dialog, click on uh, install custom dialog, right? So this is the process. Then you, you will be having an option to install that particular module. In case you are having SPSS 26, go to extensions, click on utilities. Within utilities, there will be a install custom dialog, compatible mode, you have to click there, right? And once installed, it will come under regression. So here, as you can see, process version 3.5, process version 3.1, simultaneously I've installed both of them in my home computer. So they are both running pretty well. But yeah, here I'm using 3.5, not 3.1. And this is the, the architecture. So you have the variables and you have got the Y variable, X variable, mediator, covariates and moderator variable, right? So uh, uh, very simple and, and you have got the model number to specify one for moderation, four for mediation, seven for moderated mediation, 14 for mediated moderation. As of now, we are touching based on these four and you can decide on uh, some other factors. For example, the, um, um, the option for uh, the output, the, for the plot, you need the code, right? So those things you can identify. So you have got the independent variable, the dependent variable, the mediating variable and the moderator variables. Covariates obviously in case you are having more than one independent variable, you can have the covariates in the analysis, right? You can have two moderator variables. I think that's what is allowed even now. Uh, I mean, Bindu ma'am, is it like still two moderators or have they included? I'm not aware, but one thing, sir, I wanted to ask, can yes. we have more than one independent variable here? Yeah, the covariates can include the so independent the covariates variables. won't be your control variables like they will be controlled i mean you're saying uh, to simultaneously you want to include right no no no. simultaneously no, two ha, ha. independent variables can they be included as of 3.5 so it is not available 4.1 i have not looked at i have to look at no, whether it, it is, is possible not. so that is what then, i thought okay, maybe okay. right then then we still have to go through the same so in case of... so sir if we go to your previous model wherein yes. there are three independent variables right, can, right. You, can you go back to that yes, model I'll, I'll go to that model yeah. yeah, so there are three independent variables. So, right. for example, creative choice counter conformity right. leads right. to social comparison, which in turn yes. leads to intention uh, for luck. Right. So, in case uh, this is the kind of a model, then huh. you have to run three models separately. Yes, yes, that's the constant of uh, process man. As of now, that's the constant, and we are operating in that constant. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, obviously, the other two factors can be kept as covariates to control for the effect. So that can be done. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that that I am not aware whether four point one they have allowed or not. I have not seen that four point one no, yet. No, they have not. They have not, ma'am. Okay, okay. So in that case, yeah, that pro problem is still there. They should have allowed because it's just a simple tweak of some syntaxes. They could have allowed for at least two, if not mm -hmm. more. So mm -hmm. that could, is not there. So they have provided for two moderators. Why not two independent? Because when we go by hierarchical regression, yeah. Yeah. then you can have an as many number of as uh, many number. independent That's variables. Right, right. And because uh, right. Uh, one of my papers, the reviewer also said that mm -hmm. both the both the independent variables may be related a little bit. Then having two separate models doesn't make right. sense. Right, right. So I believe process, uh -huh. this is the limitation. Mm -hmm. I believe the way for way out is that you 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 when you are mentioning the analysis, 
that time you know not mentioning that they were carried out separately i mean it's understandable but you, you are giving the results together so maybe that's how they are probably you know justifying but that's probably not the right way yes. i am i am with you yeah because so, r square value will be different then different yes 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 so i think yeah that's a constraint that we are working on i mean uh, maybe uh, mr hayes and preacher they are working on it also mm -hmm. so very soon maybe we'll have some higher version of this thing okay. uh, so one reason why they have not done is probably because you know it's still in its infancy you can look at the development it's still in the last 10 years only it has come up so maybe it will take some time to get into mm -hmm. So the model can be specified at this model number uh, pace. So you can specify one, four, or something. So you can test moderated mediation in the model seven, right? So I think just touching base on that. Um, which options to select within the options part? So you can select this generate code for visualizing interactions. This will help us with creating the the um, that uh, interaction effect chart, right? So you can create that. Uh, in case uh, you can look at minus one SD plus one SD this thing. So this will give you the the conditioning values. Okay, the three conditioning values. Uh, in case you have not done mean centering, then you can go for this thing. But if you have done already the Z score, then this is not needed, right? And also the other things are almost okay. Some papers report Johnson Neyman. So this is doubt, doubtful. I mean, I mean whether all papers are required to report it or not. Uh, Ma'am, have you seen this Johnson Neyman output? No, sir, sir. One thing I wanted to ask you was yeah. that uh, when you have not created Z scores, they are just huh. the raw scores. Raw scores. Then huh. we can click on the uh, mean yes. centric. Yes, yes. So it is as good as creating the Z scores. There are there are some uh, you know critics about this, but uh, I have seen people doing this and getting their papers published. So uh, statistically speaking, Z score is a better option because it helps us in the the final uh, uniform uh, output creation. So mm -hmm. my suggestion, I have done like I have created Z scores earlier so that I can move on with the standardized values only. So like that I have moved because there was one paper of mine where one of my variables is uh, uh, this thing, um, income level. So income level is pretty high value, right? So compared mm -hmm. to our psychometric test, so I converted into all Z scores so that we don't need to go into mean centering anymore. So that was one approach which I have gone with, mm -hmm. right? So this is an exercise, our moderated mediation analysis. You'll see that there is a data set given on moderated mediation. So perceived quality of a product leads to customer loyalty through customer satisfaction. However, the, the path between quality of product perception and customer satisfaction gets moderated by innovativeness of sales strategy. So let's do this analysis and let's see how it looks like. Right, so uh, I'll just. This is the mediation. I, I think I, we can come back to this later. I just minimize this. You can open this exercise one moderated mediation. So these data sets are all shared to me by uh, Professor Amit Shankar. So these are all dummy data sets. So not much to look into. So loyalty, quality, satisfaction, and in, in innovation. So maybe this is INN, so you can just make it ENOV, maybe just to get clarity. So satisfaction, you can see S-A-T-I-S-F-A-C-T-I-N, -S 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 so it's more than eight characters. So this will create problem. So we'll convert this into SAT. Just uh, save this, okay? Loyalty, quality, SAT, and ENOV, okay? So any character more than eight, then process will give you an error. So just have short names. Hopefully these are seven. Yeah, these are seven characters. Sat and you know, so we have got loyalty, quality, satisfaction, and innovation. Let's look at the model once more. Your quality is your IV, loyalty, DV, satisfaction, MV, and uh, W variable or the moderating variable is the innovation. So we'll go to analyze, go to regression. I'm using 3.5. So we have got quality as our, uh, our X variable, loyalty is our Y variable. Satisfaction is the mediation. Innovation is our moderator. So it's a simple model. We are going by model seven. And in options, we'll go by generate code. We'll go by minus one plus one SD, this one. In this case, we can go by all variables that define products, okay? In case there are some product terms, so then you can go by mean centering because it's not done already. Okay. These are all continuous. So either this or this will work. 
I think these are okay. We are already taken care of long variable names. Hopefully this will work. Take some time to run. So it has run the matrix. So you can see that the process has been developed by Andrew Hayes and uh, he's patented it. X is loyalty, Y is quality, M satisfaction, W innovation. Your sample size is 197. So here our model summary is R square 0.46. If you look at this, then you'll see quality is not set, not having a direct effect. And even innovation is just margin is having, no, no, uh, quality is not having a direct effect. Uh, the the p-value is not reported everywhere. So please keep an eye on the lower level confidence interval and the upper level confidence interval for future interpretations. So what we'll see here, the product term has now been created. Now we are checking for the conditional effects. So at three, three levels, so here they have not done three level basically, it's just the two, four, four. So basically a low level and a high level. They have checked for that, okay? And you can check the p-value. So at, at if you are having the moderator in the picture, then the effect of you know, uh, you know this particular uh, mediating effect is significant. What we basically look for here is, if you scroll down a bit, is this thing, direct and indirect effects of X on Y. So direct effect is measured here, okay? And the conditional indirect effects are measured here. Here, the bootstrap LLCI and bootstrap ULCI tells us whether this is significant or not. So the direction of the impact. So if you see that both of these are positive signs, this tells us that these are significant at low level also and the high level also. However, if you look at the effect at high level of innovation, the effect is much stronger compared to a low level. Low level impact is much lesser. This tells us that there is a moderated mediation. Another thing which tells us that there is a moderated mediation is the index of moderated mediation. Jabrikarthi suggests that you must mention this. However, I have seen lots of papers which did not mention this, including one paper by Jabrikarthi. So this probably is the reviewer's choice, whether they want this or not, but there are papers who mention this. So you mention the index and you mention the bootstrap LLCI and LLCI. If both of them are in the same direction, we say that yes, this is significant, which tells us that there is a moderate mediation happening here. Uh, just to give back to our slide, just to give a feedback on this, I have just some content sir, here. One, yeah. one small question, sir. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sir, when you go to with that analysis portion, right. you clicked on uh, minus one standard deviation, mean, and plus one standard deviation. Yeah, yeah. Why are the results not showing that way? It is 244. Four. Why is it? Right, right. So the, the nature of the data was such that it's, you know, it's not having any mid value. So that's why okay. it's giving like this. So we can actually, during the plotting, we can take care of this. We can take only the small, the low value and the high value and report it. Okay. So in our, the results did not come like that. Then we have, uh, oh, did we have that also? The codes did not get generated, no? Because we need some the codes also. Yeah, so this code is important for us for going to the next level. But before that, let's come back to the PPT once more. So you'll see that this is what we are after. If we can get this, get down to this, because it throws at you so many numbers, but the main analysis is happening here, the one which we are after. Okay, the direct indirect effect testing. So this is what you know is the main contribution of the process macro. And then obviously this thing is something which most people are suggesting that you should mention, but then Jabrakirti himself did not mention this in one of his papers. In fact, the, uh, that uh, figure that I show, showed about luxury item, I think that's a paper by him only where he does not mention index of moderated radiation. Okay. So there is sir, no- Here picture. in this yeah. slide, it is showing- uh... This is the same data, sir. Uh, it's not the same data, ma'am. I have uh, made some changes because okay. these data sets were given to me by him. So okay. I made some changes okay. so that it is not contested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then probably I have, you know, um, you know inadvertently removed those information or tweaked with that information. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why it's coming like this. Yeah. Right. So the process does not provide you the p-values. You have to look at the bootstrap confidence intervals only. I have not found any reference as to why the direction. 
uh, has to be positive only if one of them is negative it is considered to be insignificant i have asked uh, statistics professors also they don't tell me the answer so if anybody has the answer they can share i'll learn that why it is so both the the, the llc and ulc value should be in the same direction that's what was suggested to me by even professor amit he was not even to able to clarify i have asked this question to my tapmi colleagues and even at uh, imi uh, also uh, people who are teaching research methods um, i mean they they have not given me any good any satisfactory answer yet but this is the practice that they follow nobody is asking any question about this so hopefully that will not be an issue right so you are adding now this code part so that this code comes up right so you can copy this code and then uh, you can go to this uh, all right if you go to file you can go to syntax and within the syntax you can then copy paste or this means paste this entire uh, you know thing which you have here and then click on run button if you click on run button then this kind of a uh, output comes up with which you can create i mean there are some small cosmetic changes if you do that then you can see something like this an interpolation line which can be also replicated in your paper right so and you can also make changes to the categories and all you know so that you can exclude like here i am excluding the middle category i can in that case have only two lines the high and low i am not interested in the moderating the, the medium median value we are only in the extreme cases so then we can report only this thing right so i'll come to the reporting style later let's do this also here so do one thing just double click on this this uh, this particular uh, output and then scroll up copy this entire thing till innovation till the full stop till enough till the full stop copy this entire thing go to file go to new click on syntax paste the entire thing and then click on sorry i think yeah it's come five five I think I made a mistake of not selecting this. Let's check once. If the same thing comes up, no problem. Yeah, now it's better. So we have got two and four, right? So basically, the two variables. Now double click on this image. So you will get something like a you know a, 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 a editor, and here you can click on this interpolation line, add interpolation line. So now have two lines. here if, if there there was a third variable 2 and 3 and 4 like the the one which i have shown in the picture then you can exclude this one now we already have a two line this thing so you can manage maybe some addition edition editing can be done here sorry so gently do it so low low innovation right and this one is high innovation so you can just save them and that's how you can report this entire thing can be copied back to your uh, article maybe in a in this thing um, in uh, 4.1 the visuals may be slightly different but more or less this is how we follow is it okay shall i show it again or is it okay this is the final output that we are after if you can just show it once more sir once more yeah sure please yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah right so we have created this thing Uh, yeah so in the options part here you have to click this thing generate code for visualizing interactions okay so when the output comes you must be seeing this kind of a code somewhere data list free are you able to see this 
this is available where let us see when you go from the top once you are down with the with the product term okay conditional indirect effect then data for visualizing the conditional effect of the focal predictor this is where this data list starts so i want you to first double click on this output without that you will not be able to select this thing so first double click on this output see the mat this cursor appears now scroll up scroll up to this data list okay select data list from data list till innovation till the full stop select this entire thing something like this will happen this kind of a selection will happen just use control c is it done till this much is it okay yes right now go to new and here you can go to syntax file new and there you go to syntax a syntax window will come up here just paste the entire thing now again select the entire thing and click on this run button ensure that this thing is select is uh, is selected while you are clicking on the run button then in the output only if you scroll down you will be able to see the variable oh now see they they have come i think i made some mistake in the earlier case so the minus 1 is d plus 1 is d may, i may not have selected maybe got selected then did not get selected something like that happened now it's coming it is coming even if you look at the output yeah yeah it's showing so the effect is increasing with respect to the innovation value you can see effect is increasing continuously increasing so those who are in the very low value 2.36 you can see effect is only 0.05 whereas whether the innovation is 2.16 effect has increased to 0.12 or 1.0.13 so that tells us that there is a moderation effect happening here moderate remediation happening here so we have basically this kind of a diagram coming up mr subadao is has it come yes sir right now please double click on this uh, this image this uh, edited window will come up has it come has it come after this window has come up then you click on this interpolation line okay let me know if this much has come or not okay other participants also you can tell me whether it has come or not if this has come then you can go double click on this again go to the variables sorry So here you click on um, the property part. Expand it a bit. Where did the property part go? Uh, if you click on this line then this property part comes up here if you click on categories you can see this 3.27 is there so basically you have to exclude this okay so if you are excluding this then you are having only 2.37 and 4.17 that means the low and the high value only if you are not interested in showing showcasing the middle one okay if in that case you can apply this so then you will see only the two two variables that i am talking about the two lines or the top the let's not use the word top let's you can use the term like uh, the low and the high cases of innovation now you can just make some changes here also first select these values once click on the value once click again if you click again then you will be able to make some changes here so low innovation 
and then again click on the lower bottom this 4.17 click once don't click don't double click we have got high innovation right and we are done if you don't want this interpolation line this thing mentioned here you can also delete this we don't want this we can delete this so then this becomes our final output okay this can be i think saved yeah i believe we can save this so you can select this chart frame and copy and paste it okay copy the chart also and paste it in your system any doubts is it okay yes sir right okay great great so the final output somehow some another like thing this. which yeah. can be done also yeah. is i have yeah. figured yeah. out if you right. allow me to share yeah yeah sure sure because yeah. sometimes what happens is the journal publish articles and it is only black and white right so right right have two yes. colored right. circles yes. right then right it may become a little bit of problem yes. understanding which is true, the high and which is the low true, so true. in that case if we click on the circle then you may get different options you mm. can make it triangle you can make yeah, it yeah. Um, uh, sort of fill right. the circle you can make it square right. so that right. can also be done true, so true. accordingly the changes uh, yes. can be made. Yes. very very rightly said ma'am yes yes very rightly said so basically these line options right so you can or rather i think here uh, so there's so, no one has to click no not on the line one has to click ha. on that circle sir this circle yeah this, no in the line the circle which is there so you can right. un... yeah no so this will give you the lines but that circle click on that circle sir okay. which is there na uh, upar mm -hmm. that low innovation ha uh, this one this circle okay yeah now right. they will get some options yeah, okay. yeah so this yeah, type right. circle can yeah. be changed into yes, uh, yes. something else say something like this or this yes, right yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah yeah so that will uh, in case uh, the journal doesn't allow for allow for this yeah so right that will uh, sort of apply yeah. that right so as you can see here now we have made the change and the circle here this line has circle this line has a kind of a rhombus uh -huh. or something you can fill it also so other cosmetic yeah. changes so names changes can, can be also done. be changed right. for example here yeah. it is sat yeah. so yeah. if you click on that you can write the full yeah name. this one you can mention full satisfaction, satisfaction. and all yeah yeah so maybe it's in the labels and where no sir no sir you have to double click on that double click on that sat huh. okay uski yeah yeah it came it came sir ha huh. वो So here it's already quality, uh -huh. so that's not an issue. Yeah. So these cosmetic changes, once they are done, you can then replicate the same in the paper, right? So this this is a, I hope this is now understandable, or rather in in, in Mr. Subbaraj's case, it is just a refresher of what he has already done. So that makes sense, right? Yeah. Right. So this is uh, what is with respect to the final output. Now we come to reporting styles in journal articles. So this is one sample which I have taken. uh like service quality customer satisfaction customer value you have the dv also and the the moderating variable is mentioned here so low brand image effect is suggested here high brand image here low brand high brand for customer satisfaction for customer value so like that they have mentioned they have also mentioned the 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 lower bound confidence interval and upper bound confidence interval so this tells you that there is a negative sign in the lower bound upper bound there is a positive sign that means this is not significant there is a, a positive sign in both these cases as also you can see there is a significant increase from 0.29 to 0.41 so this is significant this uh, conditional indirect effect is significant so customer satisfaction impact on loyalty is uh, and you can see the m the mediator here is um, i don't think they mentioned the mediator somewhere any the the anyways this uh, satisfaction to loyalty is getting moderated at these two levels 
so oh okay okay so customer satisfaction loyalty loyalty is the is the mediator so that's why it is getting mediated so the moderate mediation is, is available only here so this may be one style that can be approached so indirect effect of service quality satisfaction and value on loyalty via crm quality so crm quality is your mediator which is only getting moderated by the low brand image the high brand image or the brand image aspect moderated by brand image right so something like this can be thought of uh, or maybe this one which is given by shankar and uh, jabrakarthi they are talking about the paths okay so conditional indirect effect using the path model so here they have mentioned the bootstrap 95% cis lower and upper levels all of these are significant but here you have to look at it like this privacy and security to initial trust e banking loyalty customer service and support initial trust to e banking loyalty so they are mentioning the path okay how the paths are there accordingly they are using the moderator values consumer interface low high low high low high so basically three paths so three independent uh, mediation analysis have happened as we were saying that it is not possible to report uh, or rather do the analysis together so here reliability privacy and security and customer service these are three independent variables separately right and you have initial trust as the mediator variable e banking loyalty is your final outcome so in that case this is how they have reported so bindu ma'am maybe something like this is done by you also right at your end when you are doing multiple independent variables or yeah. what are you following so same thing i same what thing, i right? do is i have separate tables for each independent variable right rather uh, than so showing it, it, it together it depends on uh, uh, it is uh, a very individual thing no definitely definitely yes because so that's like showing multiple variates if you have control variables ha, then ha. they need to be reported also reported also but yes. many papers reported this way also this way also yeah so i mean there are multiple ways of reporting them so that's why i am just showing a few samples you are um, uh, you are in a uh, position to make that call given the i mean the overall model that you are after right so i mean for example if you have more control as ma'am mentioned so you can mention them you know like if it's a moderation analysis that you are referring to initially so you can refer to that first like um, mr amit shankar's paper which i have referred to he has initially shown the mediation analysis then the moderation analysis once those conditions have been met then only the final analysis not many papers are uh, are showing that way also so that also is there um maybe i can show one just a second so this was a model which i used in one of my papers which is under review so we have got two independent variables one mediation and we have got uh, something like this this is the a kind of a a uh, moderation happening after mediation that's the logic that we have built our paper on so this is a mediated mo moderation model that as per my understanding this is how we are moving ahead with it so something like this we have done uh, and one more thing i was supposed to show somewhere i had that table also okay anyways i'll maybe having it in the ppt only so i'll just look at it yeah so mediated moderation so we'll just touch base on this now so according to muller uh, to have evidence of mediated moderation the term of interaction between the independent variable and the moderator in its effect on the criterion variable must be significant so or y is equal to beta not uh, plus let's not use the b40 or something beta not plus beta 1x think of like that the the moderation plus the moderation's in, impact this must be significant so first of all the first criteria is the moderation should be significant then the impact of the overall this model on the mediator also should be significant lastly your independent variable should be significant in the presence of all of these so mediated moderation requires these criteria to be fulfilled once that is fulfilled then we can move ahead with the model 14 which again is something which is available with our process macro so suppose we have got consumers involvement with brand leading to intention to purchase however this is maybe mediated by the trust towards the brand and if i am not that much willing to take a risk my risk perception is high or low depending on that my intention may get met uh, get the final outcome right so i may be very much involved with one brand say for example i am very involved with motorola as a front phone okay but i i trust uh, accordingly i have built a lot of trust by using motorola phone and because of that i want to purchase my next model of phone i would like to purchase motorola only okay but if i feel that you know there is a high risk of purchasing this model because this is going to become obsolete very soon 
those news come to my mind and i am prone to susceptible to those risks then my intention to purchase also will be will be affected by that okay so i may be in, highly involved with the with uh, say maruti suzuki okay but uh, i may be aware that uh, and i want to you know buy a car but i may be aware that more ev models are coming up so risk of buying you know these uh, uh, petrol models or diesel models is high for me so in that case my intention to purchase may get affected so this kind of a model you can think of so in this case only change that you are making is the model number rest everything can remain same so your model number becomes 14 rest everything remains same and you can accordingly create the same kind of analysis okay and um, and this is another application okay so how we represent the mediated moderation so first you represent the mediation effect so the mediation is there or not you check for that as you can see here uh, i mean the workforce priority regressed on knowledge exchange and combination the p value is 0 0.01 this is 0 0.02 the last one is not significant so workforce productivity regressed on hpws okay this one is not significant indirect effect and significance using normal distribution you are doing a sobel test here okay and also a bootstrap present so they have done both so both cases it is okay they are showing you know partial mediation at least happening to some extent they also have shown the regression results for conditional indirect effect in this manner okay so in the uh, in in the pre in this case in table 4 they have mentioned simple mediation whereas here they've gone for the the conditional indirect effect so how they have done that so predictor to mediator they have first rep reported that particular result then predictor to dependent they have represented that lastly knowledge management effectiveness which is their independent variable and uh, in this case how the conditional indirect effects are are varying or not so minus one is the median and plus one is the, they have shown for all three so in their case uh, they have found out that this is not significant at all so a complete moderated mediation mediated moderation is observed so here with respect to the plus one is the, the effect is there minus one is the no effect right so again uh, uh, again you can see here since they have taken all three plus one is the mean minus one is it, so they have reported the uh, the analysis accordingly low medium high they have also mentioned low medium high okay and uh, and uh, and accordingly you can sh see how the dip is happening with respect to plus one is the how the impact is higher so more practice can be done but before going there we can also do some analysis with the mediated moderation exercise we have that exercise with us so this is the mediated moderation exercise so if you open that just close this because otherwise too many data points this one is the mediation we can be with us practice with that later on i'm opening the exercise too so there are you know as you can see intention um, consumer involvement trust risk and gender gender is the the constant or the covariate in this case okay so we may include this as a covariate in our analysis um, so basically intention uh, is the final outcome okay the intention to purchase so this is our uh, our y variable consumer involvement is the, the the iv trust is the mediating factor and risk is the moderating factor okay gender being the covariate okay so that's how this is how one of the models can be looking like so please do the analysis with me you go to regression again go to process 3.5 or whatever you are having click on model 14 because this time we are checking for that so intention is the y variable involvement is the x variable trust is the mediator gender is a covariate and risk is moderator in options once again select the generate code and select minus one is the mean plus one is the just may click on these two also say bootstrap estimate and bootstrap inference for model coefficient because this is needed for making this the uh, the output analysis we'll just wait for the analysis let's uh, let's go for it and then we'll proceed so r and r square so r square is around 30 percent uh, explanation by the ivs uh, 
gender so anyhow is all coverted so yeah control innovation is having an involvement is having an impact on the dependent variable and you can also see here with respect to this again the interaction term is having an impact so moderation is there going down our main analysis happens here direct and indirect effect so as you can see again um, this is not low but 3.6 is what we are having 4.37 and 5 so again uh, all three are okay i mean if you look at the sorry look at the outcome so 0 0.19 0 0.14 0 0.10 so risk high if risk is high then purchase intention is going down okay and risk is low purchase intention is going up and all three cases it is okay so that's how we are having the result in both cases it's a negative value so your index of moderate admiration also suffices the conclusion okay is any doubt in this particular analysis how to interpret this please let me know mr subara do i need to explain again or mr tarinmay if you have any query no no okay great so yes yeah okay right yeah. so you have got my own feet, right thank you so again i mean if you go by uh, the models uh, plotting so you can use the same process let's just practice once more so from data list till this dot okay copy this go to file go to syntax copy this once again keeping this copied click on the play button or run button we have this with us so again uh, like last time what you have done you can actually make some cosmetic changes the first one being sorry the first one being the interpolation lines so we have drawn the first three lines okay and also yeah with respect to these maybe the the, the shapes you can make changes apply them right so if you are having all three in or options then only and uh, yeah this also we can make change here low risk let's call this moderate risk or you can call it plus 1 is the minus 1 is the m it's up to you i prefer giving a name to this because that you know helps in the explanation right and yeah intent can be expanded further now that we are done with this intention trust yeah so this can be the final model you can copy paste it and then use it for your applications so these can be done right so yeah the, i think almost uh, the similar process very similar process to what we have shown earlier okay i have also given you the template of how to report them as you feel like okay so there are some practices can be done with exercise 3 so you can test out two different models in exercise 3 in one case you can do a a, a, a mediated moderation and the second case you can check for a moderated mediation and and let me know how you have got the results so you can do one by one right so start with the mediated moderation this time i will not tell you you do it at your end and then you show me i was expecting uh, this will be more lively and more interactive otherwise uh, the time is actually too much for us so i am done with the discussion points so you can now tell me i mean we can just touch base on the mediation also we'll do that so you have got exercise 3 with you so i'll give you 5 minutes to do this first model and then show me you can share your screen and show if you can or just maybe just let me know whether the analysis is done or not okay is that fine so i will first try and install the version 3.1 that you sent sir right right can you just do that yeah please do that maybe if you do it once in my hand it will really do uh, you know really help i mean the retention happens higher in that case just try at your end
So you have perf is performance, roll con is roll conflict, take all is technology overload, take in is technology innovation, and RWS is remote work self efficacy. So this is a simplified version of the actual model, which I'm testing in one of my papers, which is under review. And hopefully, you know, it will make it. But I have received a rejection already where I sent it to personal review and the reviewer sent back a comment saying that, why didn't you test it with same with, with MOS? That was probably the most ridiculous comment I have got from any reviewer that cramps it all. The objective was not to use the tool, right? The objective was to test the path analysis. I can do it as I feel. Just let me know when it is done. The first model. So I think I forgot to do the mean centering in the last example. So please do that also. Okay. Choose the option of mean centering in the last example. That I found. If you have not done the Z scores, if you have not done the Z scores, always select these things. Sir, I'll have to do this later because I'm unable to install that. Oh, okay. okay. Right, right, right. Okay. No problem. So I mean, in I'll... that case, huh, in that case, I'll just show once more how to do it. Okay. We'll just go with it. Okay, just observe as many times as possible so that you don't no. forget, right? So we have no, one more data. The set. problem is not your side, sir. Uh -huh, the I understand. Problem I understand. is yeah. not your side. The problem right. is in the, the in software the, which is not yeah, allowing yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's so fine. I will that's fine. Check uh, with uh, check with yeah. Mr. Amrish, madam. What? Bindu no, but uh, Mr. Mr. Subbarao, are you uh -huh. able to being uh, able to install three point five uh, with search here? No, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. No, but are no, you getting right. the window wherein 3.5 is showing? No, uh, what is happening is that file which was sent, I yeah. it is asking me to compress it. I did that to zip file. No, and so what you I... do is, what I suggest is that is what I do. You can watch a YouTube video as to how huh. to... Huh. Uh, uh, one more thing I can do. Um, if I stop my screen share, can you it... share your screen if I allow? Let me uh, see. If can do the troubleshooting. I, I'll just uh, one second. Uh, yeah. If you see, if you open this, I'm sharing my screen. Right, right. You yes. can only download now 4.1. Yes, yes. Right. And I think 4.1 can be downloaded if you have that kind of uh, 26 or higher. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, you. right. So, so you I can don't know. do one thing. Uh, if you can share your screen with the 3.1. I'll just see okay. whether the installation issue is there or not in, yes. in at your end. Okay. I'll, I'll just stop my share. Yeah, the compatibility, I understand that 4.1 will not work in your system. Mr. Tarinmay also has mentioned that he is not able to do it also. So any of you can share your screen. I'll allow the screen share. Okay. One second. Sir. Yeah. So I was checking in my laptop, there is 20 SPSS 26 version. 26. I am also having SPSS 26. 26. That is yeah. what our institute has. Right. right. Uh, so with 26, I am using 3.5, ma'am. Acha, with no, lower version haan. you can use, but higher right, version right. with the lower version of SPSS ha, ha, ha. is over. Yes, that's what, that's what. Huh? So uh, 
it is see the screen sir um, it is coming it's not yet come okay. uh, so tarima is using also spaces version 20 mm -hmm. so that maybe 3.1 will work at your end 3.1 is the lowest that i have screen is not coming sir it's showing that you have started okay. with sharing your screen mm -hmm. but Uh, if Mr. Tarin can share screen, we can just observe the process, right? So you can just, and I can also show, show the process. Yeah. So you you have downloaded them, but they have not. You, do you have SPSS installed in your system? Now I can see that the, the, they're not able to read the file because these are SPSS files. But then oh, so you have to file. go to the downloads, now. I think you have to do, go to the downloads, and there is a process. I think. Yes, sir. Download करने के बाद एक compress it to zip file, edit that, and then it to. No, when you open the zip file, what is it showing? Can you show me? If you open the zip screen, file, sir. Open it you... here. Oh, I am not able to see that screen because maybe you have shared only one screen, not the desktop, not the uh, this thing. The same screen. Uh, let me share it again. New share. Yeah, yeah. I think this is overall your connection is a problem because of which, like, uh -huh. we are not able to hear you. That's this. fun. Here, the internet suddenly shared. Okay, okay. Using okay. My phone because the broadband is uh, not working. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Because here I can see that the files are not getting read at your end. The macro files are not getting read. This happens when you don't have the SPSS installed correctly. Process macro. It's and process a cracked version. So that is ah, the problem. That may be an issue. Yeah, that may be an issue. So I'll I'll check with ma'am that Mr. Ramrish, right. madam was right. suggesting. I'll see if I can right. handle no access problem. of my. No problem. He can install I'll see in the meantime if Mr. Tarinma is doing it. He is also facing the same issue. Can you share your screen? Tarinma, can you share your screen? I'll just see what is the issue at your end. Yeah. Right. He, here you can see it is red, right? It is red. Don't open this now. Open um, SPSS first. Open SPSS first. Please share the entire screen. Okay. Otherwise, I'll not be able to see the other screens. We'll be only seeing this one. Share your entire screen. Right now, I'm not able to see the entire screen. I can only see the, the screen which I've opened for me. So you basically shared the screen which was open, not the entire screen. So if you can share the entire screen, then I can guide you in this process. You can stop this screen share, open the screen sharing again. This time, select full screen. Okay. Select the entire screen like I have done. Select the entire screen, then I'll be able to show. Yeah, now, yeah. Must have right to the deployment. Okay, just close this, close this. Okay, please, okay, yeah. Let me see the entire process, what you have done. Do it once more, yeah. Go to uh, util uh, add-ons, utility, sorry. Go to utilities. Go to utilities. Again, I'm not able to see your screen, I think. Again, it's just the only one screen, not the full screen. If you don't select full screen, I'll not be able to you know, track what you're doing. This is just a screenshot. This will not help. I need to see the entire screen. Then only I can help. Yeah.
yeah you can you can stop this screen share share the entire screen okay share the entire screen not that only the one screen which you have open the screen where you can see my face i mean that one okay which is mentioned screen not the page okay when you start screen share there is a option called screen you have to click on that can you do that right now just try it okay go to utilities go to utilities yeah go down custom dialogs custom dialogs click on install custom dialog yeah click on that install custom dialog yeah click on process.spd process.spd yeah click on oh. same location okay okay do one thing close it close it close it uh first uh, wherever have you put that thing you don't put it in c drive okay all of this put put them in the d drive first don't put any of them in c drive the one uh, folder where you have uh, kept that process macro is it in the c drive that folder that you showed me just check no okay once more just once more let's try once more let's see yeah click it on once don't double click okay click once and click on open and let's see what happens see program specified location some location issue is happening okay just a second just close this once more do it let me just see where it is just let me just check yeah once more yeah click on install custom dialog yeah just go up go up where is it let me just check again go up go up go up go up where is it this all these folders are where in d drive okay okay What about the other one? I have sent two. No, you downloaded only one. I have sent two custom these things. No. Process macro software, no, that one, right? Where is the other one? I've I've shared two, no. Two two process dialogs I've seen shared. Can you just check that one? This is not getting read at your end. No, it's not getting read at your end. Okay. Okay, I mean that's unfortunate. It should not have happened. Some location-related issue is there. This you could have, you know, done before the you know, sessions began. You could have reached out to me earlier. Now it's very late to do any intervention. Spaces twenty. You are having spaces twenty, right? try once more just let me see the message once more yes, yes. click on help let's see what is saying not available Okay, I think they have removed the thread. Okay, no problem. Anyways, I mean, I mean, this session is getting recorded. So whenever you are able to install, please follow up. Uh, did you do the I am Visa certification also by Professor Amit Shankar? Tell me. 
so he also has mentioned some uh, these things um uh, these uh, troubleshootings right so maybe get in touch with him also he has more expertise on this matter on the troubleshooting aspect of this process macro he may help you okay right yeah okay you can stop the screen share right so uh, we have that data set with us so in case you are not able to do it because of the installation issue so that's a unfortunate aspect but let me just show it once more so we have got four variables and um, uh, we can once again that as you can see you can these are all items at item level so you can create our composite variables using the transformation function so you've got aq the one last one more time i'm showing all the applications so that in case you require you can follow up on this essentially because you are not able to do this by hand which was the purpose which we could not fulfill and this is also going uh, to uh, to uh, preeti ma'am she is uh, not here uh, attending physically so so in that case in case you know you also have any troubleshooting issue so please let let me know if i can i will obviously help i share already the the lower version process macros and 3.5 is working for me so 3.1 may not be working now so that may also be the reason so 3.1 may become may have become obsolete so i am using 3.5 it is working but in in one case as you could see that it was not reading the macros and the second case um, process 3.1 is visible but not 3.5 so those are issues which probably can be looked at i mean how we can solve that second so now we have uh, the other variable t so t is i think trust you can call it trust executed the third one is a uh, wall and the last one is gb gbi So now we have the variables with us, AQ, Trust, Wall, and GBI, and we can move ahead with this also because anyhow in our option we have a mean centering approach. So in our options only we can select okay all variables that define the products. Okay, so we can create that. Okay, and so in that case we need to create a product term. So if we don't create the product term, then it will not be created. So again we do transformation. If we are having a moderated mediation, in that case we can have that. So let's. consider for the time being say aq is the moderator so we can have say gbi multiplied by wall this is one of them so mod var 1 this becomes aq multiplied by wall so this is one of the moderation moderating variables and we can like this you can create the specific moderation interaction terms also okay however um, i believe this is not going to be that much relevant for us because anyhow the moder the variables uh, which we are taking uh, in process macro they will be considered as moderators anyhow so they will anyhow do that so we don't need to create the mod vars here so we can simply go ahead with the analysis unless you are going by only specific moderation so we will not go into that so we have got gbi as our independent variable okay trust as our dependent variable volume is the mediator and aq is our moderator so like this and we just click on these options
okay these five options have to be selected you click on okay hopefully it will work only if see error will be there for example that does not use it so i did not i forgot to specify the model so this error message is very common so only thing that i needed to do was specify model 7 in case i am doing moderated mediation so if i am doing moderated mediation this is how my model will look like to specify this you will see that you have got the entire data with you once again this is where the main application is happening so aq which when it is very low when it is mean and uh, i mean this is a plus minus one sd kind of result as you can see at high level of affective quality the result is not there so there is moderation at low level of aq not at high level okay so that's uh, you know another kind of a result that you're getting here right okay any doubts Oh, I didn't share screen. My bad, my bad. So the same process, I followed the same process. So if you look at my process macro, this is how it is looking like. Okay, so trust as my dependent variable, GBI is the independent variable, volume is the mediator. Okay, moderator is AQ, model number seven. Okay. So essentially, we are following on the same lead that we have done so far. Had we gone by model 14, then our stance would be mediated moderation. Obviously, you should have enough theory to back your stance. Otherwise, not. So, you must have enough fuel or enough impetus to tell you that yes, this is how the, the interaction is going to happen. And for that, you need to resort to psychometric, uh, psychological theories <clears throat> or consumer behavior theories or in information system theories, whichever field you are working on. So once again, you can see here. So now in a mediated moderation scenario, however, you can see that there is partial mediated moderation. Whereas in case of moderated mediation, we had complete moderated mediation. So sometimes you may you may feel like that your your theory is giving you enough indication of either situations okay so that may be a something which you can probably look at okay so uh, so let us test both scenarios so you can have logic for both scenarios that's when the issue comes where you are talking about both arrows the moderation having both arrows are connecting to both the arrows iv to mv and mv to dv both cases are getting moderated so you can check for that also in this particular situation probably a different model can be better so using your process macro if you are going by process macro you also must have the pretaracus has model uh, the has templates right so these templates will give you an idea i think if we are talking about that model i think model 70 or something if i don't recall correctly where both models are getting moderated let's check both parts are getting yeah this one model 21 so if you have if we had used model 21 maybe this will give us better idea in certain cases model 21 is something which you can also look at right so we can follow that model here and just test it out and see whether that works here or not model 21 here we go oh, z, a z variable is needed okay in the model so if you look at model 21 we need to have a separate moderator so in this case in that case we can probably go for a different uh, configuration just to test out the model. We have another variable. We don't have another variable here. So if we had another variable, we would have gone for it. Okay, maybe in a different data set, we can go for a model. So we have basically two uh, you know, moderators here. So that, that is also there. 
But I was talking about a scenario where the single moderator is, is this is not the model that I'm after actually. One moderator, which is, yeah, this one, model 58, something like this, model 58. So this is the only moderator which is having impact on both these paths. So this, if we do, this will give us maybe a better idea. So this is up to us to explore and find out which one will work for us better. So my model, my this uh, macro, 3.5 is giving me 92. Maybe that 4.1 is giving you more models to look at. So model 58 is I am which, which I'm after. Let's see. So again, let's look at model 58, which gives us a glimpse of what I'm after. So the moderator is having impact in both the paths. So that scenario is also very much relevant in our, our case. Right. They're doing it twice here. You can see GBI volume trust. So they have gone by this. Okay. With the moderating moderation effect being. Uh, this one, and if you look at the up upwards, yeah, GBI with volume by AQ. Okay. two paths they are actually looking at moderation by two paths so i think we can obviously you know move on and uh, and explore other models which are there um, there is obviously sequential mediation where you have two different uh, mediations happening at uh, two different levels this that is a leads to b b leads to c c leads to b so that kind of a model can be very interesting to check out we have parallel mediation so uh, i mean a leads to C, but in between there is B, D, E, three mediators. So that that model is also pretty interesting, right? So you can have look at you know at these options that are possible with us, and then accordingly um, you know figure out how to proceed. So this is uh, how the process macro will work out work, work out for us. And uh, if I go by go back to the slide, I mean there are only a few caveats. So these are some things for you to practice first of all. So you can go by with the exercise three that I provided the mediation um, exercise which I provided, please practice with them. Because in the end, I mean, there are, uh, I, mean, I mean, as many, as much practice we'll do, you'll further be able to get the clarity, right? So the first step obviously is to install the macro, which I was expecting that it is done. If it's not done, then in that case, you can, in that case, probably try to get that sorted. After that, get rolling with this. Okay, so these are some things uh, which you need to be mindful of that the variable name should not be more than eight characters. It will return an error code. So you need to just rephrase the long character names. Otherwise, there is also an option to do this thing. In, in our analysis only in the regression step itself, when you go by the process macro in the long variable names, here you have to mention, I accept the risk of incorrect output, but that's not the way forward. So please don't do this. Go by these uh, short names. Okay, so again, this is like a uh, kind of a shortcoming of this process. And yeah, for multi-categorical variables, at least three levels should be there. And uh, for index of moderate remediation, p value is not provided. So we are reporting only the bootstraps, LLCI and uh, ULCI, upper, upper, upper level confidence interval. So that's what we are providing. Maybe a p value, if it would have been reported, that would be better for us. For the timing, we are you know left with this. So that's it. Uh, that's uh, what I have with me for this particular thing. If you have any queries, please ask me. Sir, one small thing I wanted yes. to ask, uh, yes, yes. if it is a gender, for example, right. right, which is not a continuous variable, it ah, is ah. the two categories. So right. can we use it as a moderator in macros? We we can. Yeah, we can. So same way? Same way, same way. Then, then I mean, gender is not high and low. Yeah. So right? you get for male and female for two ah, levels. So, yeah. so two levels. Then in that case, we have to define one is male and one is female, uh, two yeah, is female yeah. and accordingly that will be high low high high low yes high low or rather you can say that two different cases two groups two different outcomes 
Okay, so you are getting so for males one no, ounce, so, female so another one. Like so, yeah. so the way we do is plus minus standard ah, deviation. Ah. No, that is not needed. That is not needed. So what do you we can, do in that? You will mention male female. For one line, it is male. For no, one no. line, it is female. Like no, that. that is there. But when ah. you show the when you have to enter the yeah. variables, right? Right, right. So you enter your independent and dependent ah, variable. Ah, that ah. is okay. Ah. Then you enter gender as a moderating variable. Right, right. And when you have to select the options. Haan, so haan. one is you have to have an output jo lines right. Jo hai. right and right. the other thing when you say plus minus standard deviation you do that uh -huh. how uh -huh. do you do that again um, the plus minus standard deviation is not needed for this case okay so you don't need that uh, they but will you have to click uh, on something na? if you yeah in that case you, you can keep it like that it will not have an impact on the analysis as such Okay, in the end, they will only look for two different separate cases and how the values are different at two different separate cases. I so, think you had some data no, where gender is there. Gender is there. Gender is there. Yes. So, can we see? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see done. how it looks like. Yeah. The first data set, right? I think it had. No, not this one. Let me just check. Right. Oh, no, not this one. Is it this one? Let's add one variable, maybe. Or I had it. No, I had it. Example. It was. Yeah. It is not. I think added. I had one data set, right? Maybe it's in exercise three. It was there. No, I also checked that there was one variable. Let me just check once. More. It's not in moderation, not in mediation, not moderation. So I am left with only two. No, not in this one. Uh, maybe this was the mediated modulation. Yeah, this one had it. Yeah, gender. Yeah, nominal data. So let's. So gender let's, is it has to be defined. Huh? Yeah, it. I think let's see. Uh, it's right now one zero. So we maybe define it. One two. Yeah. No. Uh, what level? Male, female? Shall I give? Let's yeah. See. Yeah. So female zero or two. Um, just keeping it like this for the okay. timing. Let's see if this is a big problem. Just numerically, we just added it. So you take just one independent and dependent ha, variable. Right, right. So we have consumer innovation as the x variable, and intention is our y variable. Mm -hmm. Your gender is the moderator. Right. And say trust is the mediator. Let's let's uh, let's forget about the mediator if we have mediator to just also. do simple moderation. Only moderation. Yeah. Right. And okay. if it can be done with category. Right, right, right. This this one you're saying, not the conditioning yeah. values. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
so can we generate codes for interaction let's see let's see let's see no let's wo, wo click nahi kiya sir for this one also right yeah ha ha so basically what we want is that let's whether with let's respect to gender ha. right right to uh, yeah, relationships yeah. they change you were talking right. about that flexibility mm -hmm. and work life mm -hmm. balance no right right let's see if it is not, not working i mean i have not worked with it practically mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i have used uh, whenever it was categorical moderator i switched to amos so that's my go to thing mm -hmm. it's running it's running so definitely it runs okay so let's so can we that. create yeah. is it effect showing interaction let's sir yeah, let's see uh, interaction sir wo niche hoga yeah data list also is created ma'am this no no that is there created. but is ah. it interaction there interaction is not there not there interaction is not okay. there yeah so, but, but yeah we have got the codes also let's see if it can you know plot that thing huh. for us also yeah yeah we dekh lete Okay, it's there. Yeah. It's there. It's coming. That's great. Good. So, it's coming, man. Yeah. Yes. हो जा रहा है, है ना? Good. Right, right. So rest is all same. Mm. Right. Any other query? Anybody? I know it was supposed to go till one p.m., but I think with less participants, only this much can be done. And if you could practice at your end, my plan was to give you people. some practice assignments and then i'll evaluate and then maybe we could have even gone for uh, you know uh, uh, you know just a demo table formation i was thinking of giving you that also as a task but since uh, you know we are stuck at the very beginning that nobody has the software at your end so maybe we stop here and maybe you can come back to me later i mean this is done but if you feel like it was worth it of your time or whatever you know information i shared uh, helped in clarifying some of your doubts then please get back to me we can obviously work on and i am not uh, you know claiming that i am an expert in this but i got some idea from uh, from the experts and i am just passing on the knowledge so hopefully that will uh, you know help you in your research journey right thank you so much thank you sir thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am uh, mr subara i've shared the uh, this number yeah Uh, some uh, these things here uh, yes ma'am i got the feedback yeah. is there no some feedback I think Uma Uma Shankar ji will take Haan. care of that. Uma Kanji, can you just share the feedback thing? We are done with the course, uh, with the with the session. Is it there? You can call. Yeah. Uh, so a feedback link has been shared. Please, if you can fill it up, that will be nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.